What is up, y'all? Within today's video, we're gonna be talking about G Easy and BB Rexa because BB Rexa called out G Easy on her Instagram story. And low key, I was kind of living for the messiness because I was like, y'all, I have heard bad things about G Easy for a hot minute. I was actually going down a rabbit hole, and I do want to talk about like some articles about like G Easy and Halsey and like why they separated. Because if you guys don't remember, she wrote a whole song about him, which like low key went in on him. And I was like, hey, good for her for speaking her truth because it really just doesn't seem like he's that good of a person and then I feel like BB Rexa really did you know confirm that with her posting as of right now Gigi Gigi what the hell G Easy hasn't responded to anything but you know what I want to tell you guys this is so like ironic so last night I was like going over everything and I was like oh I want to talk about this on a video so I was looking up some articles which I will read within today's video about Halsey and G Easy's breakup because I was like the things that she said about him on her song about him basically like being a cheater and then him, you know, turning into, you know, a blank addict, you know what I mean? Like, I just was like, okay, clearly he's not that good of a person, right? So let me go ahead and read the articles as to like why they broke up. I was reading that last night and this morning, here I am laying there in bed scrolling through TikTok and I saw this TikTok that had to have had over a million views on it because it had like 100,000 likes on it. And basically everyone was hyping up g -Eazy because he was on like a podcast or an interview. I don't know exactly like what it was, but it was something along the lines of that. And he was basically telling this person that he turned down the biggest offer that he had ever received to perform in. I, I want to say it was Dubai, but it was definitely some part of the Middle East. And he said that his, you know... His, his, how do I say it? His views didn't really align with that country's view. So he's like, I'm not going to go over there and take their money, even though it is the biggest amount of money. So he declined the offer and they ended up offering him double of what the initial offer was. And he still ended up declining the offer because he said that his mom was a single mom and also a lesbian. So he grew up with two moms raising him. So he was like, I'm not going to go over there and perform for this country. That's very anti this. Do you know what I mean? Basically showing that he has like good morals and good character and he's a good person. And everyone in the comments was like, oh, I'm. I never thought that I'd be a fan of GEZ. I'm becoming a fan of his. Like, wow, kudos to him. Like, you know, hyping him up. But it's so crazy, though, because I've heard for so many years that he is just not a very good person, especially a good partner. Do you know what I mean? Also, too, I want to say, like, isn't it, like, a little crazy that he's been called out to be a cheater, like, multiple times now? And he was raised by two women. So, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like when you're raised by two women, like, you're going to... I don't know, have a little bit more of a soft spot for women and like, you know, how to treat a woman. Do you know what I mean? Not be a cheater. But I guess that really doesn't change anything because at the end of the day, it's all dependent upon the person. Also, I want to say this too. Can y'all let me know if I am the only one? Am I just being a hater here? Or do you guys feel like g -Eazy has to be like one of the worst rappers? I genuinely have always felt that. I do have a few songs of his on my phone, but just because they're catchy, but I'm just like, damn, like I feel like I could rap better than he can. I feel like it's him and Blueface are probably like neck and neck for like the worst male rapper. I just, I don't know. I just feel like they have no flow and the things they be rapping about, I'm like... Where's the talent? It's not in the room with us. Anyways, we're going to be talking about that within today's video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the BB Rexa drama, I do want to go down memory lane with g Easy and Halsey because I am such a fan of Halsey. You know what's so crazy? I've been a fan of hers for so damn long. There's a song called Is There Somewhere and I definitely would put it on one of my like top 10 favorite songs of all time because I connect to that song so much and I feel like when it had came out, it was like at a certain part of my life who there was someone in my life that it just connected to. And it just means a lot to me. You know what I mean? And it's so crazy that I was playing that song on live. And y'all, I wish, damn, I wish I like saved this live because I want to do my like fact checking research on this. I was playing the song and I was like, y'all, Halsey, I absolutely love her. I feel like she's such a good poet. She writes great songs. And that song is there somewhere is just, oh, I love it. There was someone in my life that was like, OMG, I wish you weren't a fan of her. She's such a horrible person. She's such a bitch. I used to work with her at the post office. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I literally want to like do my research about like, did Halsey work at the post office here during this time, this time? Because this girl was like writing this whole damn story of like, why she's such a bitch. And I'm like, what? Because I got such a different perception of Halsey. I don't know. I feel like she obviously look when you look at things through a screen you don't really know there are people out there who seem like they're like the best people in the world and they could really be horrible behind the scenes you know also oh my gosh did you guys see that um halsey got diagnosed with lupus i'm like oh my gosh poor girl i hope that she like recovers fast and well but i do want to go down this though so that way we have a little bit of a understanding of g easy here now i'm going to be reading a bit of an article from e news but i do want to keep it real with you guys i read this article before even filming this video and I was like, 
I feel like there's more to the story, though, because if you guys heard that song that she's, uh, what is it called? Without Me, I think it's called. That song, it kind of is like, ooh, she is like, she has some things against G-Eazy. It was specifically wrote, uh, written about him. And this article makes it seem like, mm, it just kind of didn't work out because of scheduling conflicts, which I'm like, mm, there's more to the story. And sometimes I wish, I'm, uh, this is me just being messy. Sometimes I wish that celebrities were messy and just like would let it out there. Do you know what I mean? But then also I get why they don't because then, they know that other people are going to be scared to get into a relationship with them or scared to do business with them or scared to befriend them because they're like, damn, if like we get into an argument, then you're going to put all our business out there. So I kind of get it. But then also at the same time, too, I'm like, I want to know the truth. So this is what the title says right here. Here's what ultimately caused Halsey and G-Eazy to break up. Not um, all is what it seems. Throughout um, Halsey and G-Eazy's relationship, less than a week after the pop singer announced her split from the rapper, a source shed light on what actually went down behind closed doors between the pair. Halsey and G-Eazy endured a series of ups and downs over the past year, the insider says, and couldn't work past the distance and ensuing arguments that often come with uh, demanding careers. And this is a quote right here from that source. They both tried to remain strong to ensure their work commitments together went smoothly, but ultimately called it quits after too much fighting, our source explains. The truth, uh, the trust was lost between the pair when they were apart and it got too difficult for both of them. And then um, this is what it says right here where hold on wait there was a um oh here it goes right here sorry i was like wait i wanted to specifically read this post right here because i guess it's like i didn't see it but halsey had posted about this it said the bad at love songstress originally confirmed the breakup with a statement on social media which read i normally keep this kind of thing private but provided our public our public nature i feel i need to inform my fans g easy and i are taking some apart I'm assuming some time apart, but it says some apart. I'm eager to continue upcoming passage of time, uh, dedicating myself to my art and career and the duration of my tour. I wish him the best. Thanks for respecting our privacy at this time. But also, though, I understand her post. Like, honestly, to me, it seems like, okay, let me be like, you know... Let me be nice about it. But if you guys don't remember, while she was on tour, somebody yelled g Easy," and she stopped the whole damn show to, like, cuss that person out about, like, stop screaming his damn name. Like, she went off on the guy. Rightfully so. I'm like, how are you going to a Halsey concert and then literally getting up there and screaming about g Easy? Like, this, I don't know if it was a guy or girl. I can't remember. It was, like, screaming g Easy, g Easy, g Easy, And she was like, no, I've had enough of this. And I'm like, damn, you must be so desperate for attention that you're going to go to her. You're going to pay for her concert just to yell g Easy's name. Like, that's just so damn messy to me. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this BB Rexa situation, y'all, because I wanted to, first of all, I'm going to play a little bit of a TikTok that she had made about the song that they did together. And um, I think it was called like Ride Until I Die or something like that. I forget the exact name of it um, because y'all, I thought this was so interesting that I didn't know it was supposed to be made as a single first. I do have to cut that part out, obviously, for copyright, you know, issues. But she made this TikTok, I want to say in May. So go ahead and check it out. Story time. I want to tell you about how Me, Myself, and I came to be. Yeah. Originally, Me, Myself, and I was a song called I Don't Need Anything, which was a UK-based dance song. Played it for somebody in the music industry because I wanted it to be my single. And they were like, mm, nah. At the time, I was listening to this guy called G-Eazy, and I really loved this song called I Mean It. So I was trying to get in with him as like any way that I could. And finally, a friend of mine was close friends with his manager. So I went in with him, played him the song, and then it, that's how me, myself, and I came to light. But I want to play you guys a little bit of I Don't Need Anything. You have to hear it. It's kind of funny. I heard it back recently in my email. Hold on. So as you guys can see from right there, she's opening up about the song that was originally supposed to be kind of like an EDM song, but then they turned it hip hop. And then also I want to point this out there too. It seemed like everything was fine and dandy between them because somebody commented, and this was, oh, by the way, it was in May. Somebody had commented, we thank g Easy for changing the song to kind of hip hop. And she wrote back and said, I agree. I love the hip hop version more, but the dance version was the original. So it seemed like everything was fine and dandy. And then out of nowhere, <laughs> she posted this on her story. I'm going to read from the top to the bottom but there's really not too many details as to like what g Easy was saying in this group chat because basically what it says right here the top message it says hey b please see three jumpsuit options for upcoming shows and let me know what you think we can fit with troy in new york before the show on the 21st if the get and then it's literally cut off 
And then the second message says, one, following up on performance looks. Two, also any interest in shooting uh, shooting social concept with g Easy when in New York? And then um, she took... <laughs> She took to herself, y'all. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I guess I didn't take it too, like, deep. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, she has some other issues with Jeezy. Let's go ahead and keep it real. Because this person, I want to say, is just kind of like, you know, being the messenger here. And y'all, she put this shit on blast. She put at Jeezy, literally tagged him on her story and said, you have my number. Why don't you text me and ask me yourself, you stuck up ungrateful loser. You're lucky people are liking you again because I could go in on all the shitty things you've done and how you treated me after giving you your only real hit. By the way, the answer is no. Hope you good. Peace sign emoji. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I was kind of living for it though. But also I feel like she really took it to heart when as an outsider, of course, I'm obviously speaking about not knowing the full situation, especially because she literally just said she could list all these shitty things that he's done. But as an outsider, I was like, whoa, girl, like you just popped off. And like, for what reason? Because obviously when you read this, it's kind of like this person being the middleman and just saying, hey, do you want to shoot some content with Jeezy while in New York? Like, I get it. Obviously, you know, she has her issues towards it. But then also, also, this is me just being messy. But since you opened the door as to like all the shitty things that he's done, it's like you might as well say it now because it seems like this little tiny issue right here was the straw that broke the camel's back. And to outsiders, it kind of seems like, okay, this person was just asking if you want to shoot content with him. Like, damn, it didn't really seem like that big of a deal. But she obviously has some things in her vault that she has to say about him and... I'm so sorry, but I just want to know exactly what it is because, y'all, it has been alleged, you know, so many damn times that Jeezy is just not a good person. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, after the whole Halsey situation, it's like, to my understanding, he cheated on her, like, multiple times. So, I'm just like, let's go ahead and put it out there at exactly, like, what it is because, like I told you guys, there was that clip floating around on TikTok where he did this podcast and everyone was, like, loving him. So, I'm like... You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and put the truth out there. So that way we know. And on top of that too, just because I'm messy. Also, I want to say that she ended up deleting that like a couple hours after. But then she made another post saying, I said what I said type of thing. And like, I stand by it. And I was like, okay, girl, then why'd you delete the post? Just saying. Anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.